Well, hello friends. Uh, it's time for the Zora S uh, tutorial. Uh, how to set it up and everything else. So when you receive your mod, you will get it like this. It's basically all assembled and all you need to do is put in the battery and fill up the juice. And of course you need to adjust the center pin for your own atomizer since we all know some atomizers have uh, longer center pins and some shorter. So to take out uh, the top cap, to get to the insides you need to remove the top cap and there are two Phillips head screws. You only need a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, the uh, screws are in uh, just slightly, they not uh, tightened up, which you don't even need to do. So we remove the two top uh, two screws and we take out the top cap. Like you see, the bottle is fixed uh, to the center pin, which is threaded, and the bottle does screw off. So you can screw off and screw on uh, the bottle. So. Uh, after this, to set up the center pin for different ATI heights, you only need to loosen this uh, nut, the nut on the center pin. So once you loosen it up like this, you can use your Phillips head screwdriver and adjust the height of the center pin from top or for button, from button with your finger. So whichever you, way you prefer, it's easier for you or something like this. So you take this Phillips head screwdriver counterclockwise. If you screw it off counterclockwise, it raises the, the pin up. And you if you screw it down uh, clockwise, it lowers the center pin. So most ATIs should work, which are not extreme on the center pin side. And uh, basically, once you've done that, once you adjust it for your ATI, you again uh, screw down the, the nut and just finger tighten it like this. Just finger tight, nothing else needed. So after that you take your uh, atomizer, let's take mine from a different mod. Okay, so you take the atomizer, screw it on like this and we are ready for the next step. So the next step would be uh, to fill up the bottle, bottle of juice. I think I don't need to explain how that works. So just fill it up. And once the bottle is filled up, just screw it on to the center pin again. By the way, uh, these bottles, they are not super, super, super uh, soft. They are okay for skunking. But I personally use the Cappy V4 from uh, Sunbox, the silicone bottles. They are just a joy to use. And uh, those bottles you can use with the Zora S. So they work no problem. So, okay, once the, the bottle is filled up, we need uh, to go to the battery. So inside the mod, when you receive it, on the opposite side of the squonk hole, you will find a copper plate. The copper plate is marked with a minus. This means uh, the battery goes in um, uh, negative down. And it just sits in there. Uh, why? May, some people have asked why it just sits in there. Because it's much easier to remove if you need to clean the copper or something. And it doesn't uh, make any problems. Once the battery is inside, uh, this piece is snug in there. So it doesn't rattle like it without a battery. So this piece goes in. And we take a battery. Uh, it's meant to, uh, to be used with 18650s, flat top batteries. So we put the battery in negative side down, like this. And that's basically it. So you are actually ready to put the top cap on and to vape. So we to put on the top cap back on. It just slides in there, like this. Now we need the two screws again. We put in the screws, position the top cap, and just make it finger tight. Nothing, we don't need to, to torque it and to make it really tight. That's not needed. So, squonking, uh, everybody knows how that works. We press the button, 
bottle and the juice fills up. Okay, so let's see if it fires. Yes, we have fire in the hole. Let's take a vape. Oh yeah, just the way I like it. <laughs> One more. So, that's basically it. Like you see, it doesn't take a long time to, to change it. Many people are scared off by the screws. But I tried it with magnets and the screws just held, held, hold everything safe and secure. And I don't have to worry about the top cap at all when I use screws. So, that's about it. I wish you all a nice day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.